Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Philippa and today I'm going to be playing standard best of one with a blast from the past. I mean, not that past long ago, but from Ixalan. It's the turn three win with Golta and fire ringing combo. I really like this deck and I have changed it a bit to be updated with the new set. And actually we have so many cards, I mean, not so many cards, but lands that make this deck even better. So if you do not know, this is a deck that it's basically um, salt ice. So that's green, black, and blue. And then you try to use fight rigging to be able to cast Golta and put everything you want into play. You can also do the same with Atraxa or Surak or Vein Reaper. So a lot of good targets for this fight ringing. Of course, it depends on what you get, but we do play three Galtas, which is quite a lot. I'm playing two cut downs, three bitter triumph. This card not only eats planeswalkers, which is great, you can also use it to discard cards like Colt and Atrax so that you do not want to cast and get them with cruelty of geeks. So there's this element that I added of being also a reanimator deck. We also play two Pantheologies. This only ramp not only ramps you, but also you have some dinosaurs that you can get back like the Pangonaceous, Amherst Call, and the Galta itself is also an elder dinosaur. Uh, Atraxa is not a dinosaur, but it should be because it's pretty cool. Uh, we have four of the Beanstalk because when you actually use Fire Ringing and you get one of these big permanents, you get to cast it. Casting it, you get to activate the up the beanstalk because they are more than um, five mana. So that's great and it's going to work really well for us. And we're going to draw a lot of cards, which is going to help us get a lot of creatures in our hands. So our Galta really can be explosive and win the game right away. We have three ancient one. This is a way that we can to combo on turn three. So the goal is to have ancient one on turn two. Then we have Fight Ringing on turn three. We put a plus one, plus one on the Ancient One and we get the card from the Idaway Five. Hopefully we get Galta. And if you have Surak, which is an addition from this deck, it says that other creatures you control have Trample. And whenever another creature, non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you put a plus one, plus one on it. It gains haste until the end of the turn. We also have three Cruelty of Geeks to reanimate the Galtas, the Atraxas, one Vein Reaper, because sometimes the board is really bad and you really need to get that Vein Reaper uh, with Galta, for example, to make you survive uh, and it works really well. And you can also just cast it. All these creatures you get to cast them except for Atraxa. Uh, we have two Atraxas, the Serac I told you about, and the Galta. Serac is really good because you're going to have big creatures, but you don't have Trample. And just the fact that it's going to give your creatures Trample and Aced can really win you the game on the spot. So I really like it and it's a one-off that often I really want to draw. And I know this deck is a bit different, but I decided to build something that I tried once Ixalan released. I think this was the first deck that I tried when Ixalan released, but updating it and doing some changes. And I think it's much better now. Um, I also added the new lands, so four edge maze and four mortuaries. The survey lands work really well because of Ancient One, you actually want to have the Shant Aid, so you want to have a bunch of permanents in your graveyard so you can um, get these to attack or block, but also just because you have Cruelty of Geeks. So that's going to help you to have uh, cards like Atraxa and Galta on the graveyard and bring them back. So another way to surveil and make things work in your favor. And this is a combo deck, so you really need to find your key pieces. So either you have Fight Ringing, but you need the Ancient One, Evi or Amherst Call, which these three cards are the low cost cards that allow you to activate the Fighting Ringing very fast. Or you sometimes have these creatures, but you do not have the fighting ring and you need to tr kind of find it. So these are really going to be helpful in those situations. Um, and I just love Galta. So let me know in the comments what you think of this deck. Uh, and let's get to play some games. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, 3 for one Trading. is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers and they ship worldwide. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and old school players. So they have all those iconic cards that you love. 
I am very happy to announce that they are now offering exclusively my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their iron singles, full sets and out of print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting for you. You can now use my code FMTG23 to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over 341 euros, which is approximately 380 US dollars. Take this chance to grab the singles that you need. I don't know if I can keep this, to be honest. I think I'm all much better, and that's why we move. So now I just need to find the fight ringing because I already have my bodies for that, I guess. Bitter Triumph is not bad, but I really want to go for the combo. And I don't know what they're playing yet, so I guess we'll discover. Traxa, I said I didn't want you. Why are you here again? Okay, it's a land at least. That's okay, okay, so maybe it's a Convoke deck and they just have a, a rough start? I don't know. But at least we are able to surveil away. Okay, that's fine, you still cannot attack. Ooh, that's interesting. No. I almost really wanted that to happen, but... Okay. Not going to complain about it. Getting free cards is always very good. Now, if I can ask for something, though, you know what I'm going to ask for. Cut down, unfortunately, now is going to be such a dead card and I don't have anything else, so... Heavy is not it. I'm going to attack with boat, see what happens. Ooh. Galta. So they really want to take care of my creatures now. Four mana. Is there a third world leader's call? No, but I'm going to take quite a bit of damage. Okay, two more. Combat. Okay, so, 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 so. Draw me cards first, maybe I'll get something else. No, just a Traxa. So, Bitter Triumph is good, An Untapped Land is good, Cruelty of Geeks is good. I really like Sorak. See if they just take the damage. Good thing my Atraxa is going to gain me life. Or... Why don't I just... Get Vein Reaper. I have to this card. That's quite the board. I mean, <laughs> they still can kill me if they play enough creatures because they have two or leader skulls. But I mean, I'm going to attack with the tracks, uh, gain a million bajillion life, and that's game. I can keep this. 
I go first, so seems good to me. Let's take a look on what's on the other side. We already have one fight rigging, so I'm okay with that. A case. So this is a life gain deck, maybe a life gain Amalia deck. Oh yeah. Panagnus, Amar Skull. I have this exercise in the gym, which is all the Amar Skulls or the Skull Crushers or something like that, and it always reminds me of this card. Okay, so this gets a bunch of counters. Five counters, okay. I need this fighting rigging to get me something good. That works. I don't even know what I want. Sure. We comboed, I mean... I can keep that. I go first, I have cut down, I have up the bean stalk. I have some cool stuff. The meta situation is a bit awkward, but that's fine. An opponent is already making a mole. Everyone has Dwayne the Rock as their pet now, by the way. Up the beanstalk. Ooh, okay. So now I just need that sweet, sweet fight rigging. Okay. Let's draw. I need land. Okay. Oh, I see why they said human. I did get the fight rigging, so I still I should play that. I do need to take quite a bit of damage. That's okay. Do they have a way to kill my Amor Skull though? Okay, so they're not attacking this turn, which I mean, they're developing, I'm developing. Let's see if I can find Galta. Okay. We need to get mana, which is pretty good. Maybe I can try to make sure that I got something. Who? That's good. That's that's good. I would like to thank everyone that believed in me. Uh, now the choices, you know. The choices, the choices. So I'll discard these, these, and this. I can get them with the cruelty. Thank you, thank you. Sunfall! Yikes, I was not expecting that sunfall. If only... 
<laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Tick, tick. These are legendary, so I don't want to do them. These will be enough. Does, does it really matter? Does it really matter? I mean, maybe I have another Sunfall. Also, why does this deck play Sunfall is another history that I will not comment on. But, I mean, I mean... Aha! I like that a lot. Uh, this is already... okay, so... I know, I know. I'll discard the card, because you know what? I have too many. That's 20, just there, just these two. I sense an angry opponent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I can keep this. I mean, I have a turn three Potential. Okay, opponent is mulligan. I mean, I'll take it. When opponent is mulligan, we will take it every time. I like up the bean song, but I already have one. Unfortunately, I cannot do this on turn two because I need the black source and this enters tapped, but maybe I'll draw it. Okay, so I'm going to do up the Beanstalk. I feel like they have counters, but... Okay. It's a Jace. So if I do, this one has more potential because even if Jace plus it, it still is online with the fight rigging. It might have removal though. But I have another one, so there's that. What are you going to do, opponent? Oh no, it's only a 5 8. Eh, okay. Maybe I should do the fight rigging first before J Jace can minus my creatures. So maybe they have another Jace. That's good for me, because my ancient one is almost online. Okay. What can they have with one mana? Hopefully it's not fading hope. Unfortunately this is not the best thing that I could get from fight rigging, but it's not the worst. It's fighting exception, uh, Golta, any day 
esgota. They have consider, maybe. I need to find a Vora, Vorja. I mean, they have so much mana, but they are just playing Jaces. Come on, opponent. I know you have something. Life cannot just be Jaces. Am I right? What is that? Uh, target opponent mills three cards, put a land card. Okay, I guess that's fine. Does it resolve? He does. Oh, they mill me. That's great. I love that. Okay, still a land. Unfortunately, no. No combo yet, but that's fine. Surak would be perfect. I mean, if you insist. Just go face. After all, is a lot of damage. Oh, it's exact damage. Okay, then I win. <laughs> Nana banana. I keep it. Sure. Surprise. Human, okay. Oh, it's maybe Esper Legends? Jirina! Okay, so it's a human's deck, which is very interesting. So I never want to play with Galta. It is a dinosaur, so technically I can get it back to be able to play it. Three mana, okay. They do have white, red. So it's Mardu humans. Eileen is a good one. I mean, speaking of good ones, look at this, look, I, I'm even getting so, okay, okay, let me leave the dream, don't concede opponent. Surak gets this aced, but this was already on the battlefield, so unfortunately does not get aced, but that's okay. Feel the power of the beast. AKA me. I can keep this. I mean, the man is a bit awkward, but you never know. Ooh, they're exploring away. Oh, come on, give me some good mana. Oh, it's enchantment. No, it's tapped. Okay, that's okay. So they draw. I'm going for up the beanstalk to try to get a land. Oof, I'm glad that worked. Let's try to get another land. Nope.
that's pretty good. They draw again. No land. So let's play the Pugnacious. Avoring legs. So spicy. They can play both land. They get like two lands a turn. Okay, that's solved. Okay, let's see what my fight reeking can get me though. Ah, it's not my dream. I must say. They are full on living the ramping dream. Just full on. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Look, I'll block it. So, what can I do? I can play a Pantheologist, I can use Bitter Triumph, discarding... Discarding the... Galta and try to get it, I guess? Okay... I'm going to hold full control if they do this. Oh, that's bad. It's very bad. So I have to destroy this. Discard Galta. Let's see if what, what I have is enough even. Because I don't know if it is with the Vein Reaper. Let's see what happens. Am I dead? Potentially. Oh yeah, I'm very dead. That's like the opponent is leaving the dream. That's literally my dream. I'm gonna build this deck. This seems so cool. Okay, I don't think even Rain Reaper can get me out of this one, but we'll try. Let's see. Nope. No! Okay, my opponent goes first. This is not too bad. I just need to try to find a uh, fight rigging. Keep. We have a cut down that's pretty good. Golden in the grave, which is not too bad because we do play with cards like. Cruelty of Geeks also helps my ancient one. If 
Phyrexian, okay. Uh, I see. We do have Shieldred, I think, because the Phyrexian thing. Okay. That's better because I can at least try to cut it down. Okay, that I cannot do anything against. Let it resolve. They have a removal spell and they are choosing where to use it. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that's a good one. That cut down, they keep on top, but it doesn't do anything. And we know that. Okay, let's see what we draw, because we never know. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to play these. And they have less life, so they create a 1-1, one, one. that's okay. That resolves. Now I need this fight rig to find me something very good. Who knows? Maybe an Atraxa would be great. Atraxa. Atraxa. None of these are great, I must say. They just take it, okay. I'll play a Pungacious Amorskull. I'll take it. That's not bad. Giving my creatures trample can work really well. I'm also going to draw two cards. Let's go! Keep. Kumano. Okay. Lens are not bad in this end. Try to kill it. Ah, they have a pump spell. A monstrous rage. They might have a removal spell. Nope. I'll take it. I'll take it because now I have the fire ringing. Not bad. I know, I know. Kinda sad, kinda sad. I mean, I mean. That said, everyone, I hope you enjoyed. This deck was like a 50% win rate. It was nothing crazy, maybe a bit above that. 
Uh, it felt like sometimes the games were so fast when you combo on turn 3. Your opponent just sees a Traxa or Galta and concedes. Uh, but some games get quite grindy and, and they were really fun. And even the loss that I posted, because I always try to post some losses, I think it was pretty fun and I like to showcase some fun decks that I play against. Because I think sometimes it's also fun to see people win against me. But let me know in the comments, do you like that I post some losses or would you prefer to just post the wins of the deck? Uh, let me know in the comments what you prefer and that's it for me i'll see you in the next one i'm very excited for the new expansion so next week expect some videos from thunder Lod junction cowboy set you know you know what i'm talking about uh, i'm going to have the early access which means that i can play on the 10th of april so from like the 12th of april i should start uploading vi videos with the new set so that's it bye bye everyone